Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Here's your Channel's TV morning news update for June the 19th, 2019. The Nigerian army has arrested a total of 21 suspects in connection with the attacks in Juziri community of Taraba State. No fewer than eight persons were killed in the attacks on Sunday. Lieutenant Colonel Mohamed Adamo told journalists that the suspects have admitted to committing the crime and they will be handed over to the police for prosecution. A federal high court has restrained the Kano state government and the State Anti-Graft Commission from taking any further action on the Emir of Kano, Mohamed Sanusi II, based on the preliminary report submitted to the government by the commission. This development is coming in the wake of unconfirmed reports that the state government was planning to suspend the Emir based on the recommendations of the State Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission. The matter has been adjourned to June the 28th for hearing. In the nation's capital, Abuja, the trial of two police officers, Sunday Doko and Kadel David, who allegedly killed a personnel of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Mr. Olga Jumbo, has stalled following an application for adjournment by the prosecutor. The prosecutor, Mr. Patrick Igele, informed the court of his inability to proceed with the trial because he needed more time to effectively present his case. Although lawyers to the defendants opposed the prosecutor's application for adjournment, the trial judge, Justice Mwawiya Idris, adjourned the matter to September the 19th and uh, October the 7th and 9th, 2019, for continuation of trial. And to electoral matters, the President of the Senate, Senator Ahmed Lawan, has promised that the 9th National Assembly will prioritize working on the electoral bill for credible and acceptable electoral processes. Senator Lawan gave this assurance when he hosted the European Union Elections Observation Mission in Nigeria in his office. The mission was at his office to present its final report on the recently concluded elections in the country, after which they also visited the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila. And that's the morning news update. But don't forget to join us later for the evening news recap. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Thank you for watching.